Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today I'm going to show you how to change the rear differential fluid in our 2003 Honda Rancher 350. Pretty simple to do. I just need to lift it up in the air to where it's easier to get to, and I'll show you how to get it done. All right, guys, this is going to be a skill level one, so it's not going to be that tough. As far as the tools you're going to need, just need a 10 and a 12 millimeter socket and then a 17 millimeter box and wrench. Uh, other than the tools, you're just gonna need some uh, gear shaft oil. So if you would, find us over at Partzilla and get that ordered. And if you would, reference the drawings and that'll show you where the drain bolts are as well as uh, the refill. So once you've got all that together, we can get started. All right, we need to get this little shield out of the way that's covering the, uh, the differential. It's held in by three 12 millimeters. By the looks of things, I don't think this fluid has ever been changed because it looks like this cover is pretty much completely filled up with mud. Some pretty nasty looking stuff. All right, we've removed all three, and guess what? It hadn't moved yet. <laughs> this is going to be nasty. All right. Hmm. Nice. It's a nice mold of the, uh, the differential. So I'm betting this has never been changed before. Uh, give me a few minutes to get this cleaned up and get all the rest of that uh, brushed off and then we'll actually get it drained. All right guys, I think we've got it uh, mostly un uncovered here. So let's go ahead and pull our oil check bolt and then we're gonna go around to the other side and hit the drain bolt. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Gee, I wonder if it's ever been checked before. I'm thinking no. I don't see anything on the end of the bolt as far as um, shavings. Uh, it doesn't look like it's had any water intrusion, which kind of surprises me. So let's get that upper uh, fill plug out and put our two um, bolts back in for the drain and the level check and see if we can flush this out a little bit. I'm just going to dump the whole thing. All right, I've got the uh, rear end lifted up just a tick. What I want to do is just spin that fresh oil around in the housing just a little bit, and then we're going to redrain it. All right, not a whole lot of sediment came out. So that actually makes me feel a little bit better. I mean, granted there was hardly anything left inside, but um, at least I'm not seeing a bunch of material come out. All right, we're gonna get our drain bolt tightened back up and we've got our uh, check bolt still out and we're gonna fill it up until it runs out of that location. There it goes. A little, little bit of that excess run out. Then we can go ahead and cap it off. And keep in mind, both the, uh, the drain bolt and the oil check bolt both have uh, crush washers on them. So make sure that they make it back on there. Otherwise, it's going to leak. Now, check your O-ring on your fill cap. Make sure it's still healthy and in place. Get it back on. Let's clean it up just a little bit reason I'm cleaning this off, if there was a leak, I don't want to leave fluid already on it uh, to confuse the situation. So we want to leave it relatively clean and dry. That way, if it did have a leak, it will be readily visible. Now we just need to get this uh, little cover back on. It is possible to uh, check and drain this with the cover on. It actually has holes in it for that, but there was so much uh, dirt and mud in there, there was no way to really get to the bolts. Plus, when you drain it, it run into this little uh, cover. I'm not a big fan of that. Well, all right, guys, that pretty much wraps this one up. Well, listen, if you need any of the parts that we used, Come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, we just want to say thanks for watching.